Hello everyone, I'm Red Herring and I'm here to strike you. Welcome back to my Football Manager 2023 series, non-league to top league. Today we have Cardiff at home and Southampton away. Let's hope we can get some good victories today and maybe get one over Cardiff um, and that would be lovely. Um, I'll see you at the start of the game. Since you were last with us, um, we have done nothing really. Um, we had a Decent result against Bournemouth, I, uh, Bournemouth, Brighton. I thought we were going to lose that, but we kept them to a nil-nil. Then a disappointing nil-nil. Uh, then, again, a draw against uh, Blackburn. And then a very decent result against Bournemouth teams there in the Premier League. Um, and then I started to get a bit annoyed around this Leeds game. Because we completely dominated them. Yeah, okay, their goalkeeper had a really good game. But we completely dominated them. And they only think I think they only had that shot really late on. So at one point we had them down to zero shots, zero on target, and we still just didn't score. Um, I don't know what it was, so I thought let's try a change of tactics. So I went to a 5-3-2, and it did amazing, and we won 1-0. Let's say we played amazing, but we at least we won um, with a sending off as well early on. And then it just fell apart against Bournemouth. Tried it again and we were back to draw in. So to be honest with you, I am confused on which tactic I should be playing. Um, probably going to try again the 4-3-3 three, three, um, here against Cardiff. Um, and then maybe we go... 5-3-2 against Southampton. I don't know yet. I'll see how this game against Cardiff is. But we just can't score. We just cannot score a goal. Um, Window-wise, I don't think we. You, I've shown you. Um, we've had a couple of players uh, leave on loan. Uh, we did send sell uh, Wiseman. Um, I was just trying to get any high budget, high wages off the book. So he's gone. Um, who else? I thought we saw someone else. Oh, O'Leary has gone. Um, Mark's gone. Um, the rest of them are loans. And the players I've we brought in, we brought in um, a couple of loans. I don't like loans, but there wasn't any chance of us buying anything. So we brought this guy in on loan. Um, we've signed a player because um, he had really good potential. He looks really good everywhere apart from his... Uh, I can't say it, that one there. <laughs> um, and then overall, he looks pretty good. I thought, yeah, he looks quite a good youngster. 18 years old. Not a massive price. Brought him in. And then we also brought another loan in uh, just because we needed a goalkeeper. Um, and then a couple of freebies um, who looked decent. And I've taken very small wages um, anyway. Um, so again, that's why I've brought these guys in. This guy was just to be extra backup, um, Indian international by the looks of it. Um, not very good at all, but just as a backup, backup goalkeeper, because at the time this deal hadn't gone through. Um, so we just tried to sign him and then in the end he did come through really late on. Um, other than that, not much more has happened. Um, just, we can't score goals. Um, so this time we're trying um, Kipano up front. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, Naismith's having to play at uh, left back. It's just Cameron's not playing at all well in any for any of the formations, and sadly Taylor is suspended. Um, Rob gets to call over Charlie because Charlie's not been playing great. Rob was until he just had that bad game there. And there, but he was before that. He was just as good as uh, Zach and Taylor. Anyway, uh, let's get into the game and see how we do against Cardiff today. Um, yep, yeah, we're happy with all that. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so I just need to find a goal scorer. Um, 
and that's why I changed the tactic before. Maybe if we try two up front, we might score more goals, but that doesn't that didn't really show. So there you go. We're showing as our four three three today. Um, Cardiff, I f don't know what they play actually. I thought it was a four four two. No, they're playing a four two three one. Um, so hopefully we can stop them from scoring like we've been most teams. Uh, but as you can see, they're doing very well this season. Let's get into the game. First highlight comes to us. Naismith with the throw. Out to Crawford, to Russell. Russell has been playing really well. He just does shots, stuff like that now and again. And I don't think he's got good long shots. I don't know why he doesn't look for the pass. Um, but at the moment, we're holding our own. We're slightly on top. Not a very exciting game so far. Just shout some encouragement out. Um, so the boys get going. Crawford's been playing pretty well. Seems he's only 16, I think. Um, again, nothing, nothing, nothing. So, these have been, games have been so boring. But it's, a, it's against Cardiff. So, yeah, these two. He's not playing very well. I don't know if there's a switch them over um, a minute to switch them back. They did thought I'd try the right foot and the left foot on the other side. But we'll try that. We're swapping back. Go into it. Just say, no, I'm not happy with what I saw. Pump him up a little bit. Shout some encouragement like, from the start. Move, see if we can do something at least. Zach, uh, Zach's not having a great game in the back. There you go. Crawford whips one in. Tries to find Rob. Can't find Rob. Williams picks up. Passes it to Dorbin. Atkins back to Naismith. Naismith. Gonna go on a little work run. Doesn't find Rob instead. To Russell. To Naismith. Turns. Passes a beautiful ball. Penalty! Who's our penalty taker? Oh, I don't know who that is. Who's left footed? Is it? Why is our left back taking it? But he bangs it in. I'll take it. I'll take it. A win is a win. At the moment, I don't really care how we win, but I just hope we can find goals soon. Crawford's not having a great game, which is a shame because he had been playing reasonably well before this. But we're 1 0 up. Naismith with the goal. Um, and I'll take it. We're keeping him quiet. We're keeping him very quiet. And I spoke too soon. Good few blocks there. All right, just hold him out. Ah, oh, nice ball. Puts it wide, though. <laughs> right, I think we're going to take Crawford off because he is just getting worse. Um, Crawford off. Oh, yeah, but you're not much better. You've been playing rubbish as well, but I guess you can come on. Um, you're not playing very well, but we'll leave it for tomorrow. We'll leave that. We're not conceded yet, so we'll leave the back four as it is. We'll just make that change. Sears Tomato can come on um, and do a bit of magic, maybe. Seems he hasn't really shown it. Ten minutes left. Still keeping him quiet, which is nice. Right, Sigerson with the throw. Can we get the ball in? Tomato. Oh, I just can't find that pass. Header. Win the header. Bad header. You got that, Zach. Yours all day. Yours all day. Oh, you've lost it. Nice ball in. Oh, and he put it wide. I'm ha very happy with that, but maybe we need to take Zach off. Oh, we've only got two minutes left. Oh, I've shot myself in the foot again, haven't I? Now Williams has got it. Up to Russell. Everyone's offside. Just run to the corner, Russell. Run to the corner. Doesn't matter. Through the Dobson. Nice ball to Naismith. Beautiful ball in. Bang! Is he onside? <laughs> wow I was not expecting us to do that finally we're starting to play a bit of football that I like with the overlap from the uh, fullback nice run there Dobson finally does a decent pass nice ball over and our striker has scored a goal I can't believe it he was playing at a 6.4 and now he jumps up to a 7.2 just because of one goal oh my goodness me that is a great win a great win against Cardiff. 
Again, we were the better team, really. Better team all round. Um, so I'm very, very happy. What a win against Cardiff. One of our rivals as well. I know they're doing better than us in the league at the moment. Um, but I'll take it. I will take that, definitely. So that jumps us right up to... <coughs> sorry, 14th. Jumps us up to 14th. And never win... Doesn't bring a catch Stoke, but if we can get to get in a few wins, and we know we've got Southampton who are fighting for a top, so I can't imagine us getting a great result against Southampton away. But I think we get through Southampton, they get through Burnley. We then got to play um, Birmingham, I think it is, near the bottom, and I think it was Coventry after that, was it? Oh, yeah, that's a good memory. And they're both at home, so hopefully, again, a couple of wins there might be nice. Um, but we'll see how we go. I'll see you at the start of the um, Southampton game. Uh, welcome back, everyone, uh, for the second game of the episode, away to Southampton. Um, they will look to try and win today, as Brighton have already played their game um, and won 2-0. Um, so let's get into this game and see how we get on. Um, I don't think I've made any changes to the starting lineup. Actually, I've tell you, I brought Ricardo in because he won. He was in um, the team of the week, um, and I would say uh, Stephen didn't have a great game. And hasn't been on great form, so I thought we'd bring him in, give him a try, um, and see how it goes. Um, so not much change apart from swapping these two guys back round. So let's get into the game. Um, I'm expecting a loss today. Um, seems Southampton are a very good team. They are trying to compete for uh, the title of the championship. Um, but we have played quite well against the top teams. Like I said, we did get that draw against Brighton that time. We um, played really well against Leeds. Um, and they line up as a 4-3-3, similar to what we play. Um, and, of course, like I said, we're in our 4-3-3 as standard. Um I think this is the tactic going forward. I don't usually like to try and play tactics that everyone uses all the time. Um, but it looks like it's working this uh, this year of FM. What colour are we in? They're in the white. It's not as red as I was expecting for Southampton. But that's fine. We're in our like grey kit. Um, and it's the first attack to Southampton. Um, and a nice through ball there. And an easy goal. Scored by their right back, if anything. Okay, this looks like this is going to be quite a big defeat. The full FM was going to start being nice to me, given that nice victory over Cardiff. But this was just too simple, really, to be honest with you. No one's picked him up. And the goalkeeper shouldn't be beaten like that by the near post. That is not great. I think he was on. He looked on to me. Yeah, just on. Um, who was this who fell asleep? May Smith. Okay, let's shout some encouragement out this early on. Um, I was hoping not to be 1 0 down already, and I already praised our ass up, saying about we could play quite well against the big teams. Uh, we've won the ball back nice there, though, so Dobson out to Nay Smith. Nay Smith not having a good game today, but, looks like, but he's won the ball back, which is nice down the line. Yep, we've got out on this left hand side. He's cut back in, gives it to Dobson. Dobson back to Atkins, who could look for Zach over this side. Took his time for some reason. Back into Dobson. Nice ball over to Crawford. Nice through ball. Can he finish it? Ah, oh, he hits the post. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That was a nice bit of play there. Nice pass from Crawford. Um, and now Southampton again. I never highlight them on the attack. Nice play out there. Right out on that wing. Got that tackling. Nice tackle there from Ricardo right back and we're playing out from the fence um, not much going on um, a few dashes of highlights there wasn't there and then um, gone quiet all of a sudden back to um, Southampton on the ball unlucky for that tackle he's battling hard though he's won the ball back and he just can't get away from I think he's just too quick that right back um, and they've slowed the ball down. Nice ball over the top. Easy goal. Uh. 
Oi. Hmm. Interesting. Now, even in the championship, a hoof over the top still works. A bit poor defending, and the keeper, again, just could have done a little bit better, I think, there. Could have done a little bit better. I don't think he's offside. No, he's just on again. Just on again. But, yeah. I am going to bury him, because this is just not good enough. Midfield, not having a great game. Maybe we should have played the five at the back. Again, Naismith runs the ball. Pa look to pass it, mate. Right, pass over. And we've scored. I don't understand why Naismith's running with the ball so much when he can play it down the line to... I can't remember his first name. Our left winger. So many times he's had the opportunity just to pass it. Pass it down the line to him. And he just doesn't. But it's worked out for us, luckily, in the end. Bit of a few bubbles here and there but we've put it back to 2-1 you never know we can get back into this and it's a kickoff highlight already so probably not they're probably about to score on everyone because we've angered them um, good tackle there though tries to find Crawford out on this uh, right hand side can he do a bit of magic he can he runs in he's beating one man and just can't win that oh, but he can win the tackle there no 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 alright can we get the ball why are like can we now Crawford realizes he should help back in his defense why he wasn't helping before I don't know baffles me oh they hit the post all right we've got got rid of it all right wow that was close corner kick whips it in header oh I hit the post Williams oh just can't turn it in we've got never corner if we can get an equalizer before half time, this would be amazing. Whips one in. No one to the header this time. Why have we got no one on the edge of the box? I'm pretty sure on my corner tactics, there's two players that should be stood on, stood on that corner of that box. Uh, I don't understand corners this year. Right, good header clear. Stop the ball coming in. Stop the ball coming in. Alright. Oh, that was a good shot, but just wide there so Dobson's not having a good game Russell is just playing absolute awful we'll give him a few minutes in the second half to see if we can come back into this look XG wise we should be with him right no I'm not happy with it sort yourselves out get out there see if Russell can Play how he was playing before I've put, put the cameras on. Right, Rob. Big hoof. Don't know why. Finds the striker. I don't know why the striker's all right there. Crawford should be there. Nice pass. Can we... <gasps> oh, he cleared off the line! Oh, go on, Russell. Battle. Oh, that is unlucky. Uh, I don't think Russell is playing great, so let's have a look at taking him off. Um... He's motivated, but he's just not doing it, is he? Who do we bring on, though? Do... Is it because I'm playing them the two the wrong way round? Right, maybe I'll give him another 10 minutes, but maybe we'll swap these two guys round. And see if that does anything. Naismith's having a terrible game. And Ricardo, the two that have got in the team of the week, are both playing... Awful, and they're going to score from this free kick. <sighs> oh, puts it over. Okay, right, shout some more encouragement out. Right, yeah, Russell is just not turning up, is he? So we'll bring Lewis on. Uh, Naismith, and you are just not great, are you? So let's try and bring these guys on. See if that does anything. Williams again not having a great game. But who have we got on the bench? Not really anyone. Scott's not really a... Um, we'll 
try that. Because I did play Crawford as a deep line, uh, no, as a, a advanced playmaker in the the five three two, and he did quite well. So this time playing there, and see if Samedo can make, show me that I actually he is worth keeping. And do we bring on Charlie for Rob? Yeah, let's risk it. I can't shout any more encouragement now. I don't have to go attacking. This isn't a bad result. It's not great because we lose in, but I did expect us to start to get battered from that first few minutes. Right. Running their socks off, just playing it around us, aren't they? Get a ball, get a tackle in! Don't let him just run through all three of you. Get a tackle in! Oh, that is good save. Just ran through three of you. Get rid. Good header. I right, stopped the shot. Good tackle. Right, counter, counter. Why is no one up with him? Right, look for the pass. Look for the pass. Right, nothing. Let's go. You know what? Let's risk it. Let's go for attacking. We're already losing. We ain't got much to lose. Let's just try and see if we can get that draw. Right, whip it in. Back post. No. Louise wins the header. Penalty! <gasps> Who's our penalty taker? No, because I've took Nate Smith off. Someone right footed. Striker. Bangs it in! Right. Go to back to positive. <laughs> wow, out of nowhere we've brought this back. Charlie again. Come on, he's only playing a six point five. I was thought we we were going to be screwed when he got injured, but he's come in and he's not done anything. We're absolutely dominating on the XG. Maybe if I stayed attacking, we could have got the winner. But I'm happy with a draw. That is two great results. Two great results. Makes me laugh because I've just realised we've got a draw again. And before this game, we had a message saying that we are we broke our record for draws in a season. <laughs> uh, which was quite funny. Um, but I'm very happy with that. Again, let Charlie comes in, gets a yellow card and plays at 6.5. He isn't that good, is he? But Rob's gone off the boil a little bit and not played great. Um, Zach's come in and done a very good job so maybe Zach and Taylor should be our new partnership at the back but very happy with this guy he's got two goals three goals in to total so glad I brought him in and Armin he's been sensational since I brought him in on that left very happy result there as soon as we were 2-0 down after 26 minutes thought it was going to be uh, absolutely destroyed and we got a 2-2 out of that I'm going to say I'm very happy with that result. 2 0 down to 2 2. Good, good result there. Um, stop Southampton. Yeah, we drop a place. Um, but I'm still very happy with that result. We've got Burnley coming up next. So, never a hard game with the guys at the top. We, we can show we can beat Cardiff and we can draw against Southampton. So, hopefully, we can get a decent result against uh, Burnley away. Um, won't be showing you that game in that, that episode. We will have a little look what we've got coming up next. Um, we have got quite a bit of a few games. I don't know why it looks like this. Um, might just play most of the games and just come back for Sheffield United and Ipswich so we can just get this season over with and start hopefully building for the new season. Um, but very happy results in the last two games. So yeah, so we'll come back for Sheffield Wednesday. And we'll come back for Ipswich um, because there's no other big games really for us or local derbies. No. So we'll come back for Sheffield Wednesday and Ipswich in the next episode. But guys, all I'll say is thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you again soon.